is Corinne Musser, Mucking Fusser, here today to share with you this cool looking water marble nail art. All right, let's go ahead and get started. First, you're gonna to wanna to start out by, of course, painting your nails with a base coat of white. And then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and cover up your nails. Today, I'm trying out a different technique and I'm using a combination of latex and tape. So I've put latex around uh, my nail, which is um, a liquid latex from Colorful Nails. And then I'm just using two pieces of masking tape to put around um, my nail, as you can see there. This is just going to help so that you don't get any um, polish on your skin. In your water marble, get a small cup with room temperature filtered water. I'm using a cup uh, from Walmart. It's like a three ounce plastic cup. And then get yourself some colors that pretty much water marble good in the water. The colors I'm using today are um, A. England's Camelot, which is that black there. And then I'm using two colors from Cirque Colors, which is Hudson and um, Lady Liberty. Two nice kind of blues. So just keep dropping your circles. You know, you can kind of touch the water if you need to, uh, to get the polish off of the brush. But uh, you just want to keep dropping the polish in the water until you have a nice kind of bullseye. The number one question that I get tends to be what kind of polishes work best for water marbling. So I would recommend brands such as OPI, Zoya, Sally Hansen's, um, Wet n Wild. It's really a lot about trial and error. Okay, so now that I have my bullseye of colors done, I'm going to start designing the water marble. So I'm just using a water marble tool today. Uh, I'll put a link to the just where you can get that in the description. You just want something that's kind of pointy. So begin by going from the middle circle to the outer part of the cup on opposite sides, and then do this again from the middle circle, um, going on like the adjacent side of both of those lines, and then once more in between those lines. Now what you're going to want to do is go from the outer part of the cup into the middle circle. Make sure that you're always um, wiping off the tool that you're using in between strokes because you don't want any polish on that tip because it's going to mess up your design. You know, there's many different ways to get this kind of design and this is one of the uh, better ways to make it kind of neater. It just depends on what kind of polishes you're using. Sometimes they can break up, sometimes they can dry too fast, um, you know. So take your prepped finger and line it up with where you want your design to be on your nail and be cautious about this, you know, um, and then dip your finger on top of the polish and then submerge your whole finger into the water and then grab uh, another tool and clean up the polish that's on top of the water, kind of blow on it to dry it. Um, this is to prevent any polish getting on your design. And then when that is done, just bring your nail gently out of the water. Now carefully take the tape off and also the latex that's on your nail if you're using latex. You can just use tape or you can just use latex, however you prefer to do it. Always be careful when you're doing this because you don't want the tape to smudge your design. And then I like to take a uh, Q-tip and kind of just get the excess off of my nail and then I also take a Elf's Cosmetics brush to get the excess off of my cuticles. And after it's dried I like to put a nice top coat on. Always use a top coat when you're doing nail art. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my video today. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it for you. There will be many more in the future, and I hope you check out the ones I've already made. Thank you so much. Comment if you have any questions, and as always, subscribe. Thank you.